All right, guys, this will be day 12 of our stay here up at the off grid property over the Easter holiday. Um, let's see, so everything went pretty well, I think, considering we had so many people here. There were a couple little issues that we worked through, but I think, all in all, when uh, when it's all said and done, I think. I think it was a success. Um, there were a couple things that I didn't get to do while I was here that I wanted to. I just didn't have time. But I gotta say with all the people here, um, well, there was my son and I were here basically for 12 days and then the rest of everyone else was here for about four or five days. So, we never ran out of water. We still have water in the tank. Um, 150, 150 gallons still left in the tank. And I still have two full barrels there in the back. So, not too bad on the water. We did have an issue with my pump in the trailer. It went out. In fact, it kinda, kinda grenaded. <laughs> Completely came apart. And in fact, one of the bolts that holds it all together, the housing together, it's not even there, it's missing. So I don't know if that was a, if it was installed that way, you know, when they put the trailer together and they just, I don't know, that, that uh, pump just was missing a bolt. But what happened was, is all the other bolts that held it together started working themselves loose and it just kind of came apart and stripped out all of the threads that that hold it held the remaining bolts in there so luckily i had a spare uh, sureflow water pump here that i bought not so much as a backup for the trailer but i was going to use it eventually when i get a large water tank here i was going to use it to pump water but i ended up needing it for this and it worked out pretty good i have some pressure issues right now with the new pump i don't know there seems to be air in the hot water heater and I can't seem to get it all out. So it's not creating a, a full pressurized system right now. I think it'll eventually work its way out, but it's been kind of annoying for the last two days. Um, power wise, we've done pretty good. We had quite a few cloudy days this week with everybody here. So I did have to run the generator uh, quite a bit, mostly at night. Um, but like right now, my battery's in float mode and they've been in float mode for probably the past almost two hours. It's 4 p.m. now, so. So the power's pretty good. Um, it, it just, it's, it was struggling a little bit when we had all, all 13 or 14 people here. And you know, you got TVs and people making coffee and you got projectors and everything else going on, video games going on in the cabin. And, you know lights and fans and everything else all at once it was definitely a stress on my battery system but it was able to pretty well handle it um, but a couple times I did have to throw the generator on just to bring it back up to a good level um, so I don't know when we're gonna have <laughs> that large of a group of people up here again certainly nothing planned within the next year or so, so who knows. But I think uh, probably by that point in time we'll have more panels and another charge controller in there to give us quite a bit more power. Um, we never really got any rain while we were here. We got a couple snowflakes early on the first week me and my son were here, um, but that's about it. It's been like cloudy like this pretty much every single day. Kind of weird, but no moisture on the ground. Um, I think everybody had fun. The kids went out and rode quads and dirt bikes all week. Um, we went on walks. We went shooting. Uh, drove into Williams and did the whole tourist thing. Uh, mainly for the, our friends who had never been there before. Um, it's a pretty good time. Lots and lots of food. I smoked an awesome ham in my 
off-grid dual fuel smoker that my wife got me that thing was awesome and it was pretty easy to use I was surprised how easy it was didn't use much gas at all to cook that ham for nearly four hours so I was I was uh, I was pretty darn impressed with it uh, I'm definitely gonna use that again I got the fridge inside the cabin now it's kind of a mess in there I'll show you real quick it's not nearly as a mess as it was before but I still have to use it as storage unfortunately until I build a pretty large shed out here but we got the three dirt bikes in here unfortunately and the refrigerator in here and a couple other things but other than that it's all pretty clear uh, you can't really see much through there, but anyways, um, had some major, major issues with this Mr. Heater uh, hunting buddy heater, and it's not just my heater. I, I looked online, and there are several forums where people say that they've had problems with these heaters, not just the hunting buddy, but the, the big buddy and all those other ones. Um, had problems with them straight out of the box and that's pretty much how this one has been I could never get it to, to stay on more than a couple minutes on low and then it would just snuff itself out um, I tried taking off the the filter from the line which made no difference I pulled the whole thing apart and cleaned out all the jets made no difference I still have a full tank of gas under there so, I don't know what the deal is with it. I'll probably never, ever buy a heater like that ever again. Just nothing but problems. And according to the internet, a lot of people are having the same problem. So, just something to think about, you guys, when you go get ready to go camping or whatever. I'm probably going to end up putting a wall heater unit in here. Um, they have some pretty decent ones on Amazon for sale. And those don't seem to have any issues as far as I know. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my previous video, but I'm going to end up putting, my wife and I talked about it, I'm going to end up putting a door in right back here under the stairs. And I'm putting a door in there because, I'll take you out here and show you real quick and then we got to hit the road. Okay, so because we've decided we want to add on to this little cabin, it's uh, it's just not quite big enough for for anybody to stay in for uh, more than a day or two. It just gets kind of small, with, especially if you have kids. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that door in right here in this corner. Um, I'm going to take all this this everything off this end of the cabin, and uh, I'm going to build it out probably another. I don't know, probably 12 feet, somewhere over here, and uh, this will be the kitchen, and then we'll have a full bathroom over there with the shower, and then we'll have some kind of, <clears throat> like a pantry, and probably a closet or something for storage. Um, it's just it's just not big enough for for all the people that we have over here um, on occasion. And my wife agreed she'd, she'd like to see it a little bit bigger. And I'm not sure if I'm going to just going to do the bottom floor as an extension and just put a, like a lean-to style roof off of it down here. Or if I extend the entire thing, the second floor as well. And then just make it, leave that as a partition wall there with a doorway over here on this side into another room. I might just go ahead and do that. It wouldn't cost a whole heck of a lot more to do that. It's just a little extra time. So, but that'll be later on in the future. Nothing that's going to come anytime soon. The first thing I need to do is build a shed out here, a rather large shed, because my cargo trailer is jam packed full of all kinds of stuff, just mostly storage stuff. And uh, unfortunately, I can't keep storing stuff in my cargo trailer. So, all right, we're going to get out of here. We got a long drive home. It's been a heck of a 
almost a couple of weeks. Um, I wish I could stay longer, but I got to get back to work. So, all right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.